Welcome back, this is Baller Scoobo with more Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. I'm joined, as always, by Ezio Auditore. When we last left off, we were in Venice, and I said that I was going to need to do some work off-screen. I have done some of that work, not all of it, but some, and I wanted to show off a little bit of what I have done. The first thing that I did that is very important is that I have purchased the Sword of Altair, just bought it here in town. It looks like it's going to give me the maximum amount of damage, speed, and deflect. Uh, so maybe this is the best weapon in the game and I just got it by buying it here in town. It's a little weird that that would work out that way, but that's how it happened. In terms of armor, I did upgrade everything to... Was this it? Or is this it? And I have money in my chest now. Uh, where is it? They sort these out you know, a little bit. Okay, leather. I already had that. Hi Helmschmied. I already had that. Here we go. I have full Misaglius armor for now. Uh, we'll change that very shortly, but that is what I purchased in in all the towns as well. I don't remember where I got that. It might have been in Venice. But I have also done more work with, uh, with Claudia here. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? I'm always here to look at the book. Who cares about you? damn sister. So I'm up to 92% uh, done. I, I am getting there. But let me, you know, grab the money. Because I didn't know I was that close on, on needing money. But, as you can see, I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there when it comes to equipment. I only need the armor of Altair. And in terms of the collections, you know, getting close on codex pages. And not even anywhere close on feathers. But seals and paintings are done, really. And then the, the targets. We are getting there. But now it is time to turn in a couple things that we have gotten since we were last here. And we can up those stats a little bit. We are going to put these on. As you can see, I'm missing only two. Okay, so it was... Oh, God, it's going to make me try to remember patterns here. Okay, this one was new. Well, follows are the three great ironies of the Assassin Order. Here we seek to promote peace, but murder is our means. Here we seek to open the minds of men, but require obedience to a master instead of rules. Here we seek to reveal the danger of blind faith, yet we are practitioners ourselves. I have no satisfactory answers to these charges, only possibilities. Do we bend the rules in service to a greater good? And if we do, what does it say of us? That we are liars, that we are frauds, that we are weak. Every moment is spent wrestling with these contradictions, and in spite of all the years I've had to reflect, still I can find no suitable answer. I fear that one may not exist. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Does our creed provide the answer, then? That one may be two things, opposite in every way, simultaneously? And why not? Am I not proof? We have noble intentions possessed of barbaric means. We who celebrate the sanctity of life and then promptly take it from those we deem our enemies. Sure. I believe... Crap, I think it was this one was also new. I think so, yeah. I haven't seen this before. We were the ones that came before. What brought them here? How long ago? Centuries? Millennia? Longer still? So little remains of them. What drove them out? What of these artifacts? Messages in a bottles? In a bottles, yes. Tools left behind to aid and guide us, or do we fight to con for control over their refuse, um, giving divine purpose to and meaning to little more than discarded toys? I am messing up the ring. Oh, yeah. And then I believe it was this one. I think so. It's been so long, I'm not exactly sure. Man seeks dominion over all that he encounters. I suppose it is a national natural tendency. For us to aspire towards mastery of our surroundings. But this should not include other human beings. Every day more and more are pressed into service by deception or by force. Others, though not so firmly imprisoned, are made to feel as if their lives are worthless. I have seen the ways in which men persecute women. Heard the cruel words hurled at those who would come here from other lands. Watched as those who believe or act differently are made to suffer. We discuss such things often, watching as we do from the spires of Masyaf. What can be done to stop this? To encourage tolerance and equality? Some days we speak of education, believing that knowledge will free us from immortality. But as I walk the streets and see slaves sent off to auction, 
my heart grows cold. When I see the husband hurl abuses and stones at his wife, insisting she exists only to serve him, my fists clench. And when I see children torn from their parents so that another man might profit, sent off to suffer beneath the desert sun and die. On these days, I do not think that dialogue will make a difference. On these days, I can, only, I can think only of how the perpetrators need to die. Then I believe it was this one here. God, I think so. Of all the things I've seen, none troubles me more than the image of the flames. Pillars so tall they seemed to pierce the heavens. Ground rumbled and shuddered. Mountains split and cracked. Great metal towers splintered, their innards strewn about the ground. And everywhere there was screaming. The chorus so terrible that even now I feel its echo still. What is this madness I have seen? Is it them, I wonder? Those who came before? Is this where they went? Into the fire? Into the dust? Perhaps this destructive power is what the Templars seek, that they might hold it over us and de command devotion. What hopes would we have then, if they held such darkness in their hands, that they could murder the world? That does sound new. And then this one should be new as well. Yeah, this looks new as well. I hope I did this one right. Some days I miss my family, or at least the thought of them. I never knew my parents well, despite them both having lived within these walls. It was our way. Perhaps they were sad, though they showed no sign. It was not allowed. For my part, so much of my youth was spent in training. There was little time left to reflect upon the separation. And so when they were finally lost to me, it seemed no different than the passing of two strangers. Al Mualim had been as my father, and his was a weak and dishonest love. Though at the time it seemed enough, better even, or so I thought. Someday I will have a child, such as the way of our odor, and I will not make the same mistake, nor any who call themselves an assassin. We shall be allowed to love our children, and in turn to be loved. Al-Mualim believed such attachments would weaken us, cause us to falter, when our lives were on the line. But if we truly fight for what is just, does love not make such sacrifice simpler, knowing that we do so for their gain? And that is it. Just those five. So close. So close. We need two more. I honestly don't know where they are. I've been getting them as we've been going along. But one thing that we do have completed is all the seals. I'm back with my seals. Let's put them all in and unlock Altair's armor. Who is this again? Examine. This was. They're not going to tell me. But we put his in. He was the the Mongol guy. Whoever killed Genghis Khan, that was him. This is the woman that killed Cleopatra. I'm kind of sad they don't tell me their names again, but I probably wouldn't remember it after about five minutes anyway. And then the last one over here, I believe this is one of the guys that killed Caesar. I think this was it Cassius? Is Cassius one of the people? I swear. It's Cassius and, and Brutus, right? No, that was Leonius. And we have opened it up. Let's grab this armor so I can replace the stuff that I just bought. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Oh damn. Look at this armor. Look at it. Yes, I am in I am in my armory now. So now I can Damn, look at all the stuff that I get for Okay, okay here's the flying machine. Yeah, the, I get the armor of Altair and just everything changes. I'm kind of upset though. I bought some dyes and they don't seem to be affecting it nearly as much anymore. But that is it for now. The treasure chests here I I believe now are part of the assassinations so that when I'm done with the assassinations they'll give me some treasure chests there but I don't know it seems like it would be in that room though I am fully purchased we are ready to move on let's head back to Venice and while we are there let's you know do some plot did that whore stand her ground and push me back how the hell that's one stocky ass whore okay on to Venice we are done with uh, some of the boring 
for now. Actually, I think it would be best if we started at the bridge, from what I remember. I don't have all of the glyphs that are possible yet. I still need, I believe, four of those. Uh, I've been getting them off screen because the puzzles are somewhat stupid. I also went to the, the Templar place off screen. Uh, they just gave me money, and good thing I did because that took me way longer than it should have. I spent about... You can live for now. I spent about 40 minutes trying to get through that place. It was the one with the dry dock. Oh, that one sucked so damn much. Okay, we are trying to get to the exclamation point here. I've already forgotten what it is we're actually trying to do. Now we can just keep on going this one. Yeah, I, I've forgotten what it is plot-wise that we are trying to do at this point, but I am sure that it'll involve some sort of assassinations. Just a thought. Oh, we want to go on top of this. We can do that. Oh, come on. Just over, there we go. Just over a little bit more. Jump grab. I learned that technique from, I would say the best, but she broke her leg, so I'm not sure she's the best anymore. And then up here, and I think, actually, do we need to like drop down into the middle? After all that, after all that climbing, I didn't actually need to climb. Yeah, we need to drop back down. So much for climbing. <gasps> My health bar is huge, by the way. I think it will take me three medicines in order to heal it back up to full. It's been pretty high for a while, though. How you doing? <laughs> there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico. Is he your so lover or something? Damn. Thanks to you. Is he your beautiful? I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. Wait, Borgias are bad, right? We like the Medici's? We located Silvio Babarigo for you. He's fled into L'Arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're Doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The Committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. So we need to head to L'Arsenale, which I have already seen, to be honest. Wait, it goes right up to the ocean. And I got more assassination contracts. Hooray. And more races. More off screen work. Hooray. But it's not usually too bad. You know, just a couple of hours here and there. I do want to actually go to Leonardo's place. I forgot that I wanted to do that. I have more uh, codex pages since, I've, since I last talked to him. So. Teach me a new technique or something with my pistol. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha, <laughs> you found another one. How exciting. I never know what they're going to give me for this one. This one's easy. You just move every other letter. Here. And what do I get for this? Just one codex page? I only had the one. And I don't get anything. Hooray! Just what I wanted. In terms of the map, I have cleared out a good portion of this map. Uh, everything... Jeez. There's still some stuff up here that I need to get. I don't see, you know, a viewpoint there. That's why I didn't get it. But everything else, all the way across, has been... has been gotten. Except for, you know, the assassination missions and the, the race, which just opened up for me. But we need to head all the way over here. Venice is huge. Good lord, is it big. So much bigger than when we first got here. And it's going to take me a while to get through really anywhere in town anymore. Because they just demand that I go all the way across town, no matter where I am, just all the way across. Not a fan of that. L'Arsenale is, um, well, where they keep the weapons. It's kind of weird. 
that they have it all separate like that. I mean, it makes sense, but then, you know, you, especially for a place like Venice, where you would assume it's pretty easy to cut these guys off from their supply lines because they're islands. Pretty, it'd be pretty easy. The hell is going on over there? What's with the shadows? Okay, we're moving on. That was enough of that. No, I do not want to do an assassination mission right now. Now, unfortunately, a lot of times it does require me to swim in order to get anywhere. But I can easily take the boat. Get off. Thank you. This is mine now. And we're going, like, all the way over there. Luckily, I did figure out how to row a little bit better. Restricted area. Nah, I'm out of it. How you doing, horse? I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, we need to get... Damn, there's a lot of whores I need to pleasure. I'll get there, though. Don't you worry about me. What we need to do is head over here and kill a guy. Well, I assume we need to investigate a bit first, find out what he did. Although a lot of times, it doesn't work that way. This is a lot less formulaic than the, the first game. The first game, even though we would always find out why we need to kill somebody, it seemed to always follow the same kind of order, which is you go to an area, you find out who it is, you scope them out, and you find out why you need to kill them, and then you kill them, and then you get the hell out of there. So it got pretty basic. This game is not guilty of that at all. I didn't get the uh, the treasure chest yet. We are still holding off on that one, probably until I'm done with Venice for the most part, or until, you know, later, definitely. I believe we are still in sequence number nine. I still got a little bit of time to work that out. So I'm you know, trying to space it out as I can. Feathers are going to take me the longest amount of time because I do have to find maps online, and that is never trustworthy or fun, really. Just gotta base it on other people's memories sometimes. Sometimes they'll give you screenshots, which is nice, but still. Where the hell am I going here? Please! Help! Who the hell is asking me for help here? How you guys doing? I'm going in here. Hope you don't mind. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Please. Help! You! How you doing? You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stocks attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. Liberate him from his cage. I don't like the sounds of this one bit. Right. Uh, oh. It became night. I was talking to him for quite a while then. Saved myself there. I just wanted to come up here so I could go, you know, straight. Are you gonna let me do that? It'd be nice if you did. We need to go release him from his cage. I don't like the sound of that one bit. Sounds like he's got a whole bunch of guards around him. Are they actually, like, giving me a clear path on the little mini-map here, where I need to go. It kind of looks like it. Kind of. Ow. That's not too bad. We can deal with that kind of pain. No, I don't need to hire you guys just yet. Ooh, this is not looking good. Let's try to find out who it is I'm looking for. Oh, hey, can you heal me? Thank you. Using the keyboard makes that so much faster, by the way. Oh, shit. Damn, you guys are not nice. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I'm not very good at the counters on this. At least not today, I'm not. 
See, look, I mean, I swear that is good timing on counters, but they just don't accept it when it comes to this. There we go. See, yeah, I got, okay, we got that. Let's turn this back on, try to figure out where it is I'm going. Oh, that was it. He, he was right here. About goddamn time! Seriously? I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. Stay away That's from quite me. all right. Who are you? I am Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! Was that a Star Wars we Under reference that he did? Send yourself. Stop! Let's see what you can do! Finally, King get in it! Okay, you're gone. I'm gonna poke this guy in the back. And come on, this guy in the back. Thank you. Say we should go. Agree. We're going this way. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Even that they outnumber us a hundred to one. Finally, think get interesting. What is somebody after me? This guy? There you wish. Oh, there we go. Really? You want to go with fists? Nobody goes with fists. We have swords. It makes things a lot easier, man. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless. But that one's trouble. At least it's not Dante Alighieri. I mean, if I know Leonardo. And Dante, it's just way too big of a coincidence for me. Silvio set these men to ransacking your place. Hell, I know. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah, crap. These guys are constantly on me. That sucks. Alright. Ah, this guy's on me. Damn it. Holy crap, did I lose my sword? I did! Holy shit! Alright, let's go again. Okay. Do I have to buy Altair's sword all the damn time? Give me my sword back! Swap weapon. S -s swap swap. Thank you. Belt. Thank you. Okay. Let's do it. I should have Altair's sword back. I believe that was Altair's. I I dropped it though. Me. I mean, that's never happened to me before. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never. Seriously? What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them. Just, just you. Seriously, guys? Seriously? Hey, look, we made it. <laughs> what a mess they've made. Bianca, I hope she is unharmed. What, what the hell am I doing? Like, seriously, what the hell was that? This is the craziest freaking side quest thing that has happened yet. Fine, we'll move on. Like, Yanka! am I gonna walk in and having sex now? Yanka! Is no? everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place. I'm poor Bianca. If something's happened to her. Aha! It's oh, your sword. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. That's a little Charmed. stranger that I thought he was going to have sex with that now, so, isn't it? I know your name, but not why you're here. I don't I really know either. With Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. 